Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate and create PDF files using Power Automate. I show you a very common use case and scenario where a company assign an asset like a laptop or a smartphone to an employee. I will cover every step to build a process which helps using a SharePoint list to create and assign an asset to an employee, then with Power Automate trigger a flow that generate a PDF file and make this process official, signing the PDF, for example. Okay, let's get started and I show you every step. Here I am in my SharePoint list. This is my asset manager list. It's the place basically where I assign assets to the employees. I have in this list several information. I have a thumbnail that identify the device. This is the MacBook Air, for example. And then I have other information. I have out of stocks, availability status, decided by manufacturer, model, asset type, color, serial number, purchase date, purchase price order, and the current owner. Let's assume that I added right now this new asset, a MacBook Air and I assigned this asset to my colleague Ligu. Now to officialize this step and this process, I'm going to generate a PDF file that will be signed by Ligu and this will be generated using Power Automate. Now let me show you immediately how it works this process. I'm going to select this item and here you can find the button automate and this is exactly the flow that I'm going to run. You have this entry point or you can directly click the ellipsis button next to the title of the of the item and then automate assign asset. This will open a panel on the right and after clicking on the run flow this will trigger immediately my flow in Power Automate. This is very fast to run. We should see now appearing in this column PDF URL, the PDF just generated. Let me make a refresh. I have now this link available and if I click on this link, I can see the PDF generated by my flow. I have several information, asset MacBook Air assigned to Ligu, the asset MacBook Air laptop with serial number and so on. And then I have an area and space where the colleague, where the employee can sign the, the document. Closing this, this document, this is the, the process, how it runs. Let me show you how you can build this kind of flow. I'm going to, to show you step by step how you can build such flow in Power Automate and even how you can trigger this flow. You have several options by selecting the three, the ellipsis button, the three dots, or selecting the item and then on top on automate but you can even use column formatting for example you can add a button as uh, as example we have two columns here and here i use the column formatting to better style my list this is another potential approach having a button here and clicking on the button this could trigger my flow Okay, enough talk, we have seen the demo and now it's time to build from scratch a Power Automate flow that will generate a PDF. Here I am in make.powerautomate.com, the new URL to open Power Automate in your browser. I am in my flows and let me click now on the button new flow because I'm going to create a new workflow. Let me go in instant cloud flow because I'm going to trigger this flow manually and in the flow name generate PDF. Now scrolling down we can find this trigger for a selected item. I am in a SharePoint list and this is exactly the trigger that I have to use. Let's click on the button create and now I'm ready to target my SharePoint site. This is the site. Let me take this URL because I'm going to add manually the URL. Sometimes I have some, some problem if, for example, I select, this is the, the, the right URL, and if I select this one, I cannot get the list. I think there's some uh, issue with my browser cache, but 
I don't want to clean the cache right now. I'm going to click on custom and then I'm going to add manually this URL. And now I can see the, the list that I created, asset manager. Okay, let's go with the next step. Let's click on next step. Now I'm going to search for the SharePoint connector and I need now the get item action. So let me do the same that I have done before. So I'm going to add manually the URL and then the asset manager. And now I'm going to use the ID coming from a, a selected item. So in this way, I have the all metadata information related to the selected item. Okay, let's move with the next step. New step, and then I'm going to search for the compose action. Here we go, coming from data operation. And now here I have to add the input. I have already copied before the text that I'm going to reuse. So basically I'm going to use the HTML. HTML because it's easy to, to format. And this is exactly what I'm going to display in the PDF file. So I have the header, I have asset, the title coming from the item in the SharePoint list, assign it to the current owner. Then I have a paragraph here and I have the asset title and other information. So it's nice to work with HTML because using, uh, for example, VS Code or any other tool, editor HTML tool, you are able to style your um, your PDF or at least how it will be your, your PDF display it. Okay, let's go now with the next step. Next step. Now I'm going to search for the action OneDrive. I have to use OneDrive for business. This is currently the only way that you have to generate a PDF using a Power Automate. Now I'm going to create a new file create file and here I'm going to add the, the path that I'm going to use. You can create a, a folder that you want uh, with the name of your process, with your service or app, whatever. And then let's add now the, the file name, which will be the file name would be the ID of the item and .html and then the content which comes from my compose action. And here we go. Now I am sure that a file will be created under the folder approvals document in my OneDrive. I am creating this flow with my personal user, but if you have a service user, then of course you are going, you are going to, to store and create the file in the service user OneDrive space. Now let's click on new step. Now check it, check this out. This is the magic. Now clicking on new, new step, I'm going to write again OneDrive. I'm going to target OneDrive for business. And now here there is convert, convert file. This is in preview. So let me select this one. Now this is very important. You have to provide a unique identifier of the file and comes from the step before create file. I'm going to select ID and the target type would be a PDF file. So you have other option like JPEG, GLB or HTML. PDF, it's perfect. I can move with the next step. Let me type again OneDrive, OneDrive for business. And now that the file is converted, I have to create a PDF file under OneDrive, the OneDrive folder. I'm going to rename here, create file PDF. And then I'm going to rename also this other one, which is nicer to see. Okay, here we go. Now here I can paste the folder that I used before, and then I'm going to place the, the file in the same folder. And then the, the file name comes from the previous step from the convert file. And then the content comes again from the step above and file content. Here we go. Now I have also created this other step. We have almost done. This time I will target SharePoint for the next action. And here I'm going to create the same PDF file, create file. 
under a document library, which will be in my case, shared documents. Now I can remove the URL because I have to set enter custom value. And here we go, I added the URL. Now I can target my shared documents as a file name, I'm going to use the ID, the list ID coming from get item, and then I'm going to do something uh, a little bit dynamic, underscore, and then here using the expression UTC, I'm going to name differently every time the, the file, and then dot PDF. Here we go. The content of the file it's easy because it comes from the step before from convert file file content and voila now the pdf file will be dropped also in the shared documents library in the last step i'm going to update the list item sharepoint and then update update item let me fill in all. I added all fields. I want to highlight just this one PDF URL, which is composed by the URL of my SharePoint site collection plus shared document. Now I'm ready to save this Power Automate flow. And now we are going to see in SharePoint if this flow shows up. Let me open this tab, which contain already the SharePoint list. Then I'm going to refresh the list. And now let me select this item, iPhone 12 Pro. I'm going to click on the ellipsis button. And then if I go on automate, I can see generate PDF flow available. I have the same option on top. I can click here on automate and then on generate PDF. This as always will open a panel on the right. I have to confirm the usage and the permission for the connectors, then click on run flow and now my flow is up and running. And now if I refresh this page, I can, I should see the PDF URL updated. Let me go here and voila, the URL is already available. Clicking here, I have now the PDF generated for this asset. Let's see a nice thing now. Let me go back on the SharePoint list and let me show you another way that you have to trigger your flow. You can add a button to this list, for example. Let's do this. Let me create an additional column and then let me type here, generate PDF. This is a normal single column. Now I have this column just created. And now I'm going to use list column formatting to add a button that will trigger my flow. So let me go on column settings, format this column, advanced mode, and then I'm going to paste something that I already have in my clipboard and let me explain you. So what I have here is an element type, which is a button. And what this button does is executing a flow with the action execute flow. And now it's very important that in the action parameter, you assign the right GUID of your flow. I'll show you in a bit where you can take this ID. And then just below, I added as an icon, the flow, the classic flow icon. And then here we can fix this text, which is not the, the one that I want to have. Generate PDF. And finally, we are going to fix also this GUID because this is not the right one. Let me go back on my flow. And when you are in your page, let me go back in my flows and then let me click on generate PDF, which is the flow that I just created. In the URL, you will notice this GUID. After flows, this is the GUID that identify your flow. Then I'm going to copy this flow I'm going back and then now I'm going to replace this GUID. Now I'm targeting my flow. That means that what I can do here is going for this item. Let's do this for the, um, for the Surface Studio, for example. Let me click on a generate PDF. 
And now you can see that the panel on the right shows up with the same user experience that we have seen by clicking on the ellipsis button, then automate, and then clicking on my flow. We have the same user experience. I click it now on run flow, and now my flow is running. So let me go back on my flow. I'm going to click on my flows, and now we should see another running here listed. It is this one. So let me go on the SharePoint list. And if I refresh the page, it was already available. Let me go next to the Surface Studio. I have the link. If I click, I have on the, the PDF open. And this is an alternative way that you have to trigger your flow. Last thing that I would like to mention is that you have to use OneDrive because the action is available only using the OneDrive connector. That means that you can use OneDrive as a temporary storage where you generate the PDF and then you can use a document library on SharePoint as a persistent data with all your PDF files. All right, we have seen a nice functionality how to generate PDF files using Power Automate. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.